What if you could not only ground yourself, but also your electronics or ground um, your work or the things that you're doing or the ideas that you have to really solidly ground them or the house that you're living in or your workspace. And this video is supporting you to do that and grounding your loved ones. And we actually extended it to grounding your whole building block or uh, the apartment blocks uh, or the village that you're in or the city that you're in. You can ground all of that from your place of groundedness. And that's what we're going to do in this video. It's absolutely important for star seeds, light workers, anyone that is often in the higher realm, but I would say anyone at this moment because of the heightened energies and the tiredness that you feel with it and the pain in your body and the, your bones and, and it's a lot of symptoms that come with all that heightened energy. Grounding, 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 grounding is what you want, is what you need, is going to support you so much to harvest that energy with so much more ease and see that what you're trying to bring into the world will be so much easier to bring that in when it is grounded, not just you, but what you want to bring into the world is grounded and it's absolutely essential for your life right now. So enjoy. So there we go. Let us start with all the influx of energies at the moment, heightened solar flares. I don't know how you feel, but I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I have the energy, I do my things, and then very quickly I'm tired. I need to rest and continue. For the last week, weeks, poof, and I notice muscle pain. I hear from people lower back pain, hips, knees, feet, legs, all that lower part of us that wants to ground. We grounding ourselves into this earth, onto this earth, and especially for star seeds. We are often out there because that's our comfort zone. That's where we usually connect with. That's where we feel great. But the grounding is what's really needed at this moment. That That is there. No matter if you realize it or not, or you're aware of it or not, or if you're able to play with it or not. Grounding, grounding, grounding is what you need and want at this moment in time, especially at the star seat. Since you are here on earth and this moment in time, not for nothing, but to ground all the energies in. You embodying it, grounding it, taking it into the earth for the ascension of humanity. Big words, big words. My body starts moving. So we are on, we're on, enough talking. So I like to open, um, if you don't know, let me start opening a portal and I explain what we're going to do. I would like to open a portal of loving light and source energy and high frequency for us to come through that what we need as star seeds in this moment and time. And if you knew here, the reason why I do this, because I connect with higher dimensional um, energies being that my own or, or others out there, we never know, we see. But I want to assure that the energy that we are sharing here at this moment in time is pure, is loving, is it's high frequency. Because the portal of energy, the, our beautiful energy is attracting, is absolutely attracting. So we want a bit of a protection there and assurance that. That is what comes through. My body starts moving. It's of all the energies that are coming in. Not only mine, also the ones we attract. And yours. There's no space and time. This higher realm. So I can already sense your energy. And I would like to invite you. Let's start with that. For you to close your eyes for a moment. And to sense the energy. Take a nice deep breath. Even if you've never done this, if you walk into a room, you're sensing energy, if you're aware of it or not. You're sensing if it is safe or it's unsafe. Can you relax? Do you need to behave in a certain way? Can you be yourself? You sense that. So in the same way, without you doing anything, without working hard, 
It's a quietness. And from that quietness, you observe the energy that is here now of all those that are watching or will be watching. They're all in the field already. So I want you to imagine that this group of people is here. And just look left and right and, right and say hi's here and there, some smiles and feel the energy. And again, just feel what you can feel, what you're not. Don't get frustrated. That's blocking it. It's all good. So here we are together. Wonderful to have you here energetically and in person. Mm, loving it already. So let's see where we're going to. Yeah. So yeah, grounding is really what we need here and what you want, right? Um, I feel very tired lately and I feel my bones. I feel, and a lot of people have that lower back pain, hips, legs, knees, feet. Some people say, I can't hardly walk. So this is really that heightened influx of solar flares coming in and who knows what else of energy. There's so much energy sent to us here. And all we need to do is hold space for that. It's not really it right at the moment. Be a conduit of that. So you can ground it here into Earth. You can support humanity by just grounding it here. And yourself, so you can walk and you can uh, get some proper sleep and, and, and give yourself that rest, right? It's a lot to, to work with. Don't resist. Just become that conduit. Like a time. All right, so what I would like to do is to support you with that grounding. Hmm. Oh, I love it. So I want to do a little bit of an exercise with you. For you to ground and then to ground the computer that you're with, that you're watching this with, or the phone, whatever, any, ele any electronics. I want to ground your space. I want to ground the people in your space or the, the, the things that you're doing in your life. Well, I want, I want that for you. I'm going to guide you to do that. And what does it do for you to be more grounded and to have those elements more grounded? is that it's another word for being really aligned right to be really in the moment to be really in the now so there's no distractions of you flying away into outer space <laughs> and you uh, and being in that higher space i love it it's great but without grounding you're floating and in normal life can seem boring well there's so much to adore um, and and the people you interact with that are not on the same frequency as you you might find it difficult to interact with them because you want everyone in your vibe I'm getting it that that would be wonderful but you're also here on earth and you're dealing with people and and the, the male man and or woman and uh, people that are loud <laughs> in your surrounding or uh, being very low in frequency this is the, the your surrounding that you're interacting with and wouldn't it be great if you do that from that place of grounded alignment but grounding is really the word here at the moment from that place of grounding so your interaction with your surrounding becomes so much easier you will notice that the people reacting to you and interacting with, with you are the ones that feel that alignment with your grounding energy. It's so important. All right. It's me leading today. And if there is any support that wants to help with this, they're all here. Okay. But it's me leading. Good. Love it. It, it is what it is. So I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. And just breathe, relax. And I want to ask you to be really, really present in your body. And what does that mean? To be present. To really feel your feet touching the floors. To feel wherever your body is touching something. 
perhaps your butt because you're sitting somewhere the lower end of your spine might touch something your back or your arms or your body parts touching each other just feel that become aware of that just notice that and then notice the parts that don't touch don't take too long just notice the parts oh yeah my knees are not touching anything okay oh yeah my belly not and my chest not and my head is loose okay got that notice that see that and feel into that with your awareness all right what I want you to do now is take a nice deep breath and relax when you breathe out and then go with your focus and your awareness to the end of your spine and lengthen that into the earth go into the earth imagine that that is just continuing into the earth it doesn't matter if you're laying down sitting standing up that is going into the earth deep 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 into the earth you might want to imagine that there is a, a ball of light that you're stepping into it is there to your service all of a sudden that ball of light and if you can jump with your awareness really well into the center of the earth where we are going I ask you not to do that I ask you to go with the movement of going down because that helps you to get more into the kind of state of a trance but also the state of surrendering or being in the now and being more grounded so let's step into that ball of light that is appearing there in the earth and you step into that you're kind of disappearing in that way into the earth and you go lower and lower and lower into that ball of light into the earth into the center of the earth where it's it's like a big cave you can imagine it where it's light it's bright where's all the energy of mother earth Gaia itself who is there spreading her arms there ready to hold you to embrace you you can just lean back you being cared for you being catered for and I want you to feel that sturdiness of Mother Earth that groundedness that solidness you feel how solid it is and if you find that difficult maybe you think of someone you know a person that is very charismatic and grounded because they're so calm and, and compact and natural in their way of doing it might be a sports person a speaker a person you know in your surrounding and then you take on that energy you copy that energy basically so you are in that centered grounded energy beautiful so really feel that really own that great and from there we harvest that we take that in and we again are in that light bulb or bulb of light <laughs> and ball of light you can also call that step into that and come slowly back up and come back up 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 right there we are back to the uh, in your body get back into your body and then feel your body notice your body being so well grounded so well attached to the earth so beautifully aligned with Mother Gaia wonderful absolutely wonderful <sighs> Yes, a nice deep breath indeed. Will be great here. All right, so you're grounded. Now we want to ground your equipment. The equipment that you're watching this with, or any equipment for that matter. All this 5G, 4G, whatever you have in the house. Um, let's imagine that there is a cord, right? You have a cord that is around it or you have an energy field around it and then maybe in the corner or in the middle you imagine a cord that goes into the earth you can bring in your imagination all your electronics electronics to one space put an energy 
bulb around it, energy uh, circle around it or ball. And then imagine that there's on the corners or in the middle a cord that goes into the earth. The same as we just did and we do it a bit faster now. The cord is there, you go in, woof, down into the center and there you are. Feel that groundedness, that sturdiness. And then once you feel that, you take that back up and then feel those electronics again. Woof, there they're standing, right? There they're sitting there. There they're not losing all the energies left and right, but they are contained. Wonderful. So let's now do that with the space that you're in, being that your office space or your home, wherever you now are at this moment, I would like you to take that one first. So imagine if it's a space that could be, you could just take the four corners or you can take, I like to really put that energy bubble around it or it could be square <laughs> if, you, if I talk about corners, right? And then imagine that in the corners of that whole house of yours. Well, I'm living in Amsterdam, there is apartments. And I started with my own apartment. And I started to, let's do that. Start with your own, right? And take the corners or in the middle, wherever feels right, or all of it. And imagine this course going from that energy that is there. Everything has energy and consciousness. We work with the energy at the moment. Have those cords and have them, yes, go down into the earth, all of them. Bundle them, bring them into the earth. You might want to take, if there's a big house, all the corners and bundle them to one and then send them into the earth, into the core of the earth. There you go, beautiful, beautiful. And then feel, in, you don't have to think of your house, you just think of that being all connected to the center of the earth. <sighs> Ooh, feel that strong presence there, that groundedness, that beautiful energy. And then we go, go back up with that, poof, you bring that into that house, it's already grounded, but we take even more of that. And you fill all the rooms with that, into the house or the space that you're in, all the rooms. Do it quick, don't take too long. It's just that energy, energy can move very fast. And there you are, you might want to extend it to the space outside of where you are. For me that would be an apartment, the front door, the back door, the, the the outdoor space. Beautiful. Now I would like to extend that to a bigger area. So you have your house being all grounded. I want you now to see that in comparison. Oh, I love this. Isn't it beautiful what we're doing here? So I would like to imagine your house and feel how the energy is so different than to the other houses in the neighborhood or in my case an apartment to upstairs and next door and do we want that no let's give them that groundedness as well your relationships with your neighbors and and the neighborhood will change but more important your neighborhood will change um, but for now let's let's take that in so let's put an energy bubble around as big or small you want the space to be, as lo as much as you can handle. So for me, uh, as in Amsterdam, we have big, like in every city, I guess, big apartment blocks that are all connected in a, in a whole block, right? So I can take that whole block. You can also take the whole village or your whole street. And let's, and, and you can take the whole, city you can make it as big as you want for now us in the time we have here together let's do the extension of your street or your your the smaller area for me the whole block all the houses that are basically physically connected that works for me and so if you're physically connected with anything make sure you all include those you don't want any energy to leak okay so put an energy bubble around that 
and then put some cords in the corners of it or in the middle or around it so it, from there it goes straight into the ground and imagine it going into Mother Gaia if the space is really big you can have all those cords coming together in the middle right they're all centered towards the middle even if they're far away from each other you center them in the middle and bring that one into the core of Mother Gaia into Earth do that now let's go to the center probably we're already, oh, we're already there with me talking too long i really feel that oh that is a lot of energy can you handle it just take that i'm sure you can feel your own if you feel you cannot come back to your own grounding right just hop out of that for a moment feel your own grounding i grounding i'm saying this because i feel some of you are finding it difficult feel your own grounding um, bring that cord down into the earth from your spine you can do it quick now right just go there to the center feel it and then feel your body oh ah, nice more centered great and then you go back if you needed that you go back to that block or that village that city wherever you are with it or your street don't make it too big at once stick small steps right and then anchor that in, take those cords, have that bubble around, and anchor that into the this is better, right? Anchor that into the core of the earth. There you are. Beautiful. And then come back up with that. This is it's done the job, right? But what we do now is an extra step. We come back up and we feel back into that energy, that in that whole energy bubble that everything is grounded feel that really fill up that space with that just it's an extra check right and if it's if you can't feel that then just put it in there bring that all up in there in every corner of it there you are Oof. now step back for a moment and look at your beautiful work wow right see that space that you grounded do you feel that how different that feels Oh, my whole body is is tingling of this uh, this work what we're doing here. So important, so beautiful. And then see your electronics again. Yes. And then see yourself. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Love it. Now I would like to to also use this for something that you're working on. It could be a program that you have, a product project that you have, or an idea that you're working on, or something that you're bringing into the wor world. It could just be your job, right? Things that you're doing. Think of something, and then let's put an energy bubble around it. Have some cords. Bring those cords into the earth. The whole energy has calmed so much. It's so beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here for you and your neighborhood. <laughs> and bring that cord back into the earth. Into the center of the earth. Feel it. Feel its groundedness. Of that what you're bringing into the earth. Of that what you're doing your work, your ideas, your projects, your programs, whatever it is, your creative outlets. You have that in the center of the earth. You having there? Are you there? Come on, let's all get there. Bring it down, stay focused, bring it down. Even an idea you can ground. And if you don't know, some of you don't, pause it. What are you doing? You're a gardener? Ground that right you're taking care of your kids ground that <laughs> that would be really beneficial for for the whole family all right so ground that ground that and then come back up and feel back into that energy bubble and fill that up with that grounded energy beautiful beautiful great 
stand back for a moment, <laughs> see the result of what you just did, feel the result or know the result. We have all different ways of perceiving that. Wonderful. Last one your loved ones or those ones in your surrounding they don't have to be physically there can be family overseas could be um, I want to say those that passed they don't need grounding no it's really the life those that are alive I'm just tuning into that's like no 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 that's not needed all right so those that are important for you in your life you can put, put them all together in one space, in your mind. They can be anywhere, it doesn't matter. Put an energy bubble around them. If you need a moment to think, pause. Pause the video and then come back. So we have an energy bubble around them. And again, bring cords or in the middle or on the corners or all the way around and bring those cords down into the center of the earth. so funny of me talking about corners what I'm seeing is is this air balloons right where you have a basket underneath so it's like the bubble and then we put the the cords around and then they come together below could have said that earlier <laughs> and then from there they go into the ground so everything is held by it all right there you go into the center of the earth feel the groundedness feel the solidness Feel the love as well of Mother Earth and her care, right? And I know she's leaving and all that. And, you know, the energy is still there. Just work with that energy. So let's not think, overthink this. Just feel into that energy. Use that. All right. So you've grounded that. You come back up. Back into that energy bubble of those you care for and fill that space up with it even more. Make sure it's all there. You might even, if it's persons, right? You might even feel that into their energy field, into their body, feel if it's all grounded. Doesn't it feel beautiful to do that for your loved ones or those you care about? Isn't that absolutely gorgeous, you being able to help them ground? And you, you, you don't need to ask permission. Everyone should be grounded. So we're getting more, okay, let's step back and come back into yourself or observe what you've just been doing and then come back into yourself. It's such a beautiful thing. Let's open our eyes when you're ready. It's an absolute beautiful thing of you being able to ground yourself and that what is important to you. I suggest start your morning with this. You can still do it laying in bed. Okay, your spine goes like that, but it's an earth, just imagine it. We'll go sit up and do that in the morning. It's easy when you do it laying down because then you, you can use that immediately that moment in the morning and you feel your energy shifting immediately. Shifting or getting into a place where you want to be. You want to be in the now, in, in the present moment. Because when you're in the present moment, that's where you really align with your higher self. And as star seeds, that's where you want to be, right? All right, that's just wonderful connecting with you and doing this. If you like this, please give it a thumbs up. Love to hear how you're doing, how that was for you. And, and especially come back in a few days once you have done that every day and start noticing how different people starting to react to you. Hmm, how your idea all of a sudden is taking off and, or what you work on is going with so much more ease or there might be so many things that you become aware of like, oh, that has shifted and changed just by you doing this. All right, <laughs> let's just close there. So much love, so much love. Beautiful to connect and we see each other next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.